Okay, I am going to continue a little bit with file linking. One of the things I want to explain when you link files is a little bit about the parameters that you might select um, when you do a file link. So we're going to take here a file that I've prepared. It's a little bit uh, more elaborate than the simple file that I've used before. Uh, again, remember we need to set it up in a 3D view and we'll do an export into CAD formats. So one of the things I'd like to do here is um, go here into the options selection and a um, couple of things that you might want to note here. One is that uh, drawing units are specified and they default in this case to millimeters. And I'd just like you to note here, export as poly mesh. Um, this is particularly important um, in our next uh, step. And um, essentially what this does is it allows you to export the file as a series of faces rather than, let's say, a solid wall. Uh, that will make things easier once you're in 3ds Max to apply materials. So. I just want to point this out because in various releases of Revit um, these things have changed quite a bit. Um, this whole process of linking from Revit to Max has undergone a considerable amount of changes from one release to another. So I want you, when you're working with Revit, just to check this at least uh, for the first time. Make sure it's set like that. So let's click on OK. So we'll go ahead and save and in this case here. I've already done this once so it, uh, it's overwriting my file. So let me go back to Max and uh, go ahead and link. So I'll go into the file link manager. I'll go ahead and select my DWG file that was created out of Revit. Make sure again that my presets are set. And I'll go ahead and uh, make sure that the scaling is set to millimeters, and I will attach this file. Okay. So here's my file, and uh, what I'd like to do is I'm just going to go into the walls themselves, and to um, to see what um, what has happened in terms of the uh, exporting of um, of that element. So we're going to go into layers and you'll see that there is a considerable number of layers that have been created and each one of those represents some element um, from Revit um, but again the only ones that I really want to keep for the time being is the walls so I'm going to turn off all of these I've just used uh, select and shift select to get all of these elements and I'll click on hide and dismiss the dialog so you'll see now that I'm limited to just a certain number of uh, elements, the walls. I'm going to switch this perspective view to a user view just by typing the letter uh, U and zooming in. So um, I'd like to also remove some of these walls from the display and I'll use something called uh, isolation. So um, let's use here perhaps the left view to do some of that and move this over and I'll use my selection here to isolate this area here so these objects are currently selected and I'll just use Alt Q at the keyboard you can see it tells me that I'm in isolation mode and I just want to limit now this to this area here and I'll do another Alt Q. So now uh, I just see one of the walls both faces of the wall if I go around you'll see here both sides are displayed and if we go in the select by name dialog we should see that there are three elements in this wall if we go back and select, let's say, the outside face and use a tool like Move, what you'll notice 
is that the entire outside face and one of the edges gets moved. So that is one component of that wall. Um, if you click on the inside face, you'll notice that the inside face gets moved. So essentially, the way I had created this wall in Revit, there are uh, three materials, uh, three faces, uh, outside, inside, and this sort of edge condition, uh, which could be treated differently. So this is going to help me um, when I get to the point that I want to apply materials to my surfaces. Um, had I not selected that option in Revit, the polyface mesh option in the uh, in the options button or options dialog, uh, I would have gotten a single solitary object uh, for this wall. Um, not impossible to work with, but a little bit more difficult when you want to apply materials to um, inside and outside faces. Okay. That's it um, for this segment.